Good day! Today we're going to learn Java Swing and the classes under the JavaX.Swing package. Classes includes JFrame, JLabel, JMenu, JTextField, JButton, JMenu Item, JMenu Bar, JFile Chooser, JColor Chooser, JCombo Box, and JToolbar. We will build application using the swing classes like jmenu bar, jmenu, jmenu item, jtoolbar, jfile chooser, and jcolor chooser. Let us begin with swing. Swing is a part of Java Foundation classes or JFC that is used to create window-based applications. This is built on top of abstract window toolkit package. The swing package was made up of 737 classes and evenly distributed inside the 18 packages, javax.swing. The swing classes usually begin with a J or with the prefix J. Examples are JButton, JTextField, JLabel, JTextArea, JMenu, JMenuBar, JMenuItem, etc. The swing package provides replacements for most abstract window toolkit components. Examples are J button for button, J label for label, J panel for panel, J text field for text field, J text area for text area, and etc. And the following are the swing components that can be used under this package. We have buttons, combo box, list, text field, slider, menu, label, text area, tooltip, progress bar. File Chooser, Color Chooser, Table, Tree, Split Pane, and Tab Pane. Since Swing is built on top of Abstract Window Toolkit, here are the classes that is used by the Swing. We begin with the Base Class, Component, and Container. The top level containers like Applets, Window, Frame, and Dialog. Layout Managers, and event handling. The following illustration shows the hierarchy of Java Swing application programming interface. In this figure, you will see that JApplet, JFrame, and JDialog are descendants of out components, the applet, frame, and dialog. The other swing components are direct descendant of J component, which is a subclass of container which is an out component if swing is built on top of out components what are the difference between these two packages this table shows the difference between the abstract window toolkit and the java swing package number one out components are platform dependent while java swing components are platform independent number two java out components are heavyweight while Java Swing components are lightweight. Number 3. Out doesn't support pluggable look and feel, while Java Swing support pluggable look and feel. Number 4. Out provides less components than Swing, while Swing provides more powerful components such as tables, list, scroll panes, color chooser, tab panes, etc. Number 5. The out doesn't follow model view controller or MVC where model represents data, view represents presentation, and controller act as the interface between the model and the view. While the swing follows MVC or model view controller. The following will be a sample application using the swing classes. Example number one, using the out accumulator and converting it using the swing components. We open our out accumulator, then we're going to replace the out components with the swing components. We begin by importing the javax.swing components. We change the class name instead of out, we're going to have swing accumulator and we extend it to jframe instead of frame. We also replace label with jlabel. Text field with J text field. The constructor should also be replaced because the class name is swing accumulator. So the constructor would be swing accumulator. We also change the title to swing accumulator. 
we will replace label with J label, text field with J text field. To instantiate a new object, we're going to use new swing accumulator. After completing our code, we're going to save our file. We're going to create a folder on the desktop. The folder name would be lesson 6. And we will save this as swing accumulator.java. Then we open our command prompt window to locate, compile, and run our Java application. If an error occur, we're going to debug our program. We're going to edit the misspelled class. Instead of H text field, we have J text field. Then we save it. Now we're ready to run our Java application. We're going to compile and then run it to see the output of our code. We test our application. We enter integer to see if the program is accumulating values. Example number 2. Creating a simple calculator using swing classes. JFrame, JLabel, JTextField, JPanel, and JButton. On the text editor window, we're going to type the following code. We begin with the import statement. We import the java.out, java.out.event, and the Java X that swing. Then the class name simple calculator that extends to JFrame and implements action listener. Then the declaration of private objects. We declare four JTEX fields, four J labels, six J buttons, and five J panels. The constructor contains the following code. We set the window properties, we set visible, set size. Set default close operation, set location relative to, we set the title and the layout. We instantiate objects using swing classes. We have J label, J text field, J button, and J panel. We set the JTF answer, set editable false. Then we add the object in each panel. The four panels are also added inside this constructor. We put add action listener to our buttons. Inside the main method, we instantiate and declare simple calculator object. The action perform method contains code for event handling. The object source is created to get the source of the action event. We create an if statement to test whether the uh, JTF number 1 and JTF number 2 is equal to blank. If it is blank, we ask the user to enter values for first number and second number. If the source of the event is the JB+, plus, we're going to compute the sum of the first number and the second number. We declare three integer variables. We get the text value of JTF number 1 and JTF number 2 and convert it into integer and assign it into an integer variable. We compute the total of the first number and the second number. Then display it to our JTF answer. We have the same code for minus, divide, and multiply, except for their operators. Minus sign for subtraction, slash for division, and asterisk for multiplication. The code for JB clear would be clearing the text for JTF number 1, JTF number 2, and JTF answer. Once we finish our code, we're going to save our file on our computer. Then we're going to open our command prompt window to locate, compile, and run our Java application. In this output, the user can enter numerical values for text field 1 and text field 2. Once the user clicks plus, minus, divide, and asterisk, the application will provide calculation and assign it to JTF answer. Example number 3, creating simple application using swing classes, jmenu bar, jmenu, jmenu item, and jtoolbar, and previously learned package java.io, java.out, and java.out.event.
for watching.